In the previews for the new Star Wars movie, we see a new weapon, one that can go toe to toe with a lightsaber. And here it is. The Z6 Riot Baton, wielded by the new Stormtroopers. When this new Riot Baton showed up in the previews, I got so excited. It was the first weapon to really go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a lightsaber. I mean, there were those those robot guys in the prequels, but I'm just gonna pretend like that didn't happen. I guess it was the first time we saw a stormtrooper not afraid of a lightsaber. It looks really cool, but after some further inspection, I thought it really looked like it was all made out of PVC, and ultimately, that's what mine's made out of. It's almost entirely PVC. I wanted it to be a little bit more impressive and a little bit scarier though, so I also added about 12,000 volts of shocking potential using a neon sign transformer. The shocking using a neon sign transformer is really cool to look at, but it, it's dangerous. And it really, you can't walk around with it, you can't carry it around, it's gotta be plugged in. The real star of the show, in my opinion, is the hinge that allows this thing to flip out with power. And I made that completely out of PVC. I'm gonna show you how I made it. This entire piece on the end here is one piece and it rotates around this central one and a half inch bit of PVC. I've actually got a cutaway to show you how I built this hinge. Let's look at that. So here's a cutaway in the same orientation. Here's the part that twists, and here would be the handle down here. You can see the spring here is attached to a bit of strapping mounted to this piece of pipe on the end. This X is a stop so that whenever I wind it up and let go, it snaps into place. It sounds great, it feels good. I used a 10 pound spring so it has tons of force. The only problem is, since everything in here isn't really meant to be used this way, after a bit of use, it's starting to wear out. You can see it's going a little bit beyond fully open now. So, you know, ideally you'd want to make it a bit stronger, but for these purposes, it worked great. You can build this entire thing with only a few pieces of PVC and a couple connectors. What we have here are this, 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 and this piece are all one size, that's one and a half inch PVC. The hinge down the middle and the handle are a bit smaller PVC. And then the rest are just additional connectors and end caps and a T right here. Aside from that, there's a bit of strapping, a 10 pound spring, a bunch of spray paint. Even these ridges are PVC. I just cut them real thin, spray painted them, and snapped them in place. The accents are duct tape. It's very simple in its construction, but I really like the way it feels, uh, swinging it around and snapping it out, and it looks pretty cool. <sighs> Be sure to like and subscribe for more projects from Make. If you liked this video, subscribe to our channel or send us a comment on Facebook or Twitter. Be sure to check out our other project videos or visit us on makezine.com.